Okay, so good morning everyone. My name is Mr. Vicente Isay Jr. Milon. Uh, I am about to critique the movie entitled The Mac or Mockingbird Dancing. Actually, among all of the, the um, titles that have been given to us, this um, title really captures my attention to be for me to critique. Actually, this Mockingbird Don't Sing really captures my attention. It's because of its first, of course, the, um, the cover itself. Because the cover itself really uh, captivates my um, emotions and feelings of the girl. Which is, I am going or I am about to um, critic. Okay, so we're going to start now. This Mockingbird, or This Mockingbird Don't Sing, the movie uh, directed by Harry uh, Brumley Devonport and written by Daryl Honey, produced by Chris Morphys, and st starring of this, or the actors of this movie, which is an original story, or the so-called... Um, the characters of the stories are Tara Steele, Melissa Enrico, Shan Young, Kim Derby. This is cinematography by Jeff Bostert and music by Mark Hart. So this is being released way back May 4, 2001. So this is uh, almost 98 minutes of watching. Um, its origin is from United States and the language used is in English. Okay, so the characters again are this follows. No, this girl Melissa Enrico as Sandra, or the as speech instructor or the language instructor of um, Katie, which is the girl, the main character of the story. I really love this girl. If I were a boy, I'm going to marry this girl because she's so beautiful. She's so uh, it really captures my attention to her when you look at this her perfect face and then you can say you find your true love <laughs> and then of course our main character uh katie or miss tara steel no she is uh, 14 years old on the movie already this is tara steel as katie i forgot the name of this woman but this is the mother of katie or Tara Steele is the mother, and then uh, this is Doctor. I'm sorry, Doctor Judy Bingham. I'm, I, I, I'm, I know Shan Yang. I'm sorry. This is Shan Yang, or as Doctor Judy. Okay, so the Mockingbird uh, Don't Sing happens in or shoot in Los Angeles. Actually, this is a true story. That's why I, I really love it. I, uh, I can relate some of those uh, scenario in in this movie uh this happens in 1970 um and being played by katie standon or tara steel a girl who has been imprisoned on her room in her room i mean and without any human contact at the very first scenario of this movie i really don't know why the dad or the the father of katie uh, is uh imprisoned her I really don't know the reason why behind. Maybe at the first impression, I thought um, Katie is just a adopted child. That's the thought that that my minds really think at the first um, scenario. And then the mother of Kate, Katie, uh, who is uh, Kim Darby, who has a cataract, ni siya o bisag ginakulata si Katie but she da, she can't do nothing but 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 to she can't do nothing but just to listen while uh her husband um abuses uh Katie Katie actually has a um, older brother, which is Michael Azria, no? Which is Michael Azria, who helped Katie to escape, no? Or 
who helped the mother of Katie to escape or uh, leave the house of um, Katie or because they saw that Katie is being abused by her dad. In this scenario, I really don't know if why does his father or her father really gets angry with, with her. I really don't know. J just look at the picture or the screen. In, uh, just look at my screen. As you can see, um, gipakaon sa siyang papa pero, uh, we, which is, we are still very thankful of this because even though uh, the father has an anger to her, but still, uh, he, f uh, she f uh, he feed her, no? Bisan to ug nagkalisod na or uh, ginakulata siya, but still, uh, he, do he don't forget to feed uh, Katie. And I'm so very um, pity with Katie because uh, the way she treated, uh, he treated Katie is really bad. So as the movie goes on or goes by, um, when the mother of Katie decided to um, itaka si Katie from that evil home, so the mother of Katie, even though she, she can't see or she cannot clearly see, she helped Katie to uh, ask for help from the DSWD kung sa ato pa na siya, DSWD or the Social Welfare Development Office to seek for help because um, the mother of Katie really asked for help because she knows or she feels that Katie is really pity at this very moment. So as you can see in the uh, screen, it is a, a social welfare office which uh, Katie asked, uh, which is the mother of Katie asked for help. So, let's continue. As the mother of Katie asked for help from the social welfare, I really don't know why they um, put or impress on the mother of Katie. I really don't know how they, um, how the director um, put in this kind of situation, which is he doesn't even uh, explain why the, the mother of Katie is being impressed on. Uh, but as per the mother of Katie, she just asked for help or the benefits from the social welfare because of Katie's um, condition. So as the story or the movie goes on, um, the news is being in their place all over the world, actually. The media is being cruel with this um, news about Katie and her dad. Um, actually, I really don't know if the the case is still ongoing in this in this time because, um, as you can see in the um, screen, there are lots of uh, medias who are um, currently filming about the issue of this um, the girl named Katie. So as the case goes on. Um, the father of Katie is in their home or in their house. So, I, I really don't know why he put or he wrote this letter uh, with a picture of her, I think that's her mother. Um, picture. But then again, there's a picture uh, beside this or in the table. And then... I don't know why also the father of Katie killed himself or shoot himself uh, shoot himself into death and he ev even put a, a big plastic where the blood is where, where the blood is in it no I really don't know and the the, the sentence or the word that being uh, put here, by her dad and I really don't know what's the real meaning of this. Uh, it says the world will never understand and I also don't understand about it. So let's continue the movie. So this is Katie right now uh, as I watch the video. This is Ka Katie uh, in the video. So she is now on the 
hospital of some um, special childs or uh, a, a home which is uh, supporting those uh, child with special needs. So I think this video is connected to how to um, teach a child on their first language. Um, first language learning because Katie don't know how to speak. I think this is because uh, he is being impressed uh, impressed by he, uh, her dad uh, a years, a lot of years that he is being impressed and never contact a human. All he, she can see is her dad and her mom and uh, her brother of course so this is the first learning or the first um in introduction to uh katie's world outside world okay so in this video as you can see this is now um the introduction of may's katie this girl uh to katie uh this is sandra i think he, uh, she is a, uh, uh, an English teacher, or a, uh, a phonetic teacher, because as you can see in his, in her, the book he, she is holding is phonics. Um, we all know that phonics is more on uh, phonetics, uh, learning. So I think she is being introduced to Katie, uh, for her to help Katie in her, um, language learning process. So as you can see in the video, no, uh, the teacher, um, in this this girl, is Miss Shan Yang, or oh, Miss Mrs. Shan Yang, or Doctor Judy Bingham in the movie. Um, this is the teacher of um Katie, this girl. This is the teacher of Katie, who also helps about on how to speak their language. Or the he uh, she thought or teaches um, Katie on how to speak on how to learn some um, actions to to act properly. So this is where Katie introduced to the teacher or Doctor Judy. I think she is a teacher of um, with teacher of those children with special needs. So in this scenario, as you can see, um, Katie is in the hospital. They studied the brain of Katie to to look or to search for any um, instances that uh, what really happens in the past. Uh, why did Katie didn't uh, um, acquire her language learning? So. Um, this is also the time that I myself found out that this mockingbird gets it ti its title from the saying uh, from the song "Mockingbirds Don't Sing," um, because Katie is awake at this moment. Um, Sandra came in to let Sandra uh, uh, to let. Katie be um become become because Sandra is uh, Katie is really scared to death um so Sandra really sings uh sings um mockingbird don't sing uh to Katie so this is where they get the I think they get the um title in this actually they um movie is more on an hour and a half it really makes my mind untangled or tangled it's because the director is very good in um directing the the story it might be so um what they call this so um mind blowing to to think about what really is i can really recommend this video when it comes to um 
learning language because um because it's in this very moment katie is now going to see her mother i'm going to pinpoint the mother of so this is the mother of katie uh, as you can see in the screen and then this is uh one of the uh who adopted katie in the scenario katie is so um confused and still uh learning and he, she can talk sometimes or even a word she can uh, say a little word uh, through the help of Sandra and all the people around her. So in this scenario, I really it really touches my heart when a mom lives because I can relate. I, I don't have my mom anymore. And it really touches my heart that the mother of Katie really needs to go out or really needs to leave her in the um past uh in the um the current home of katie i am so impressed with uh the um adaptive uh parent of katie which are which is they are so good uh, and they really actually um wanted to uh let Katie feel good in the current stage. They, they really want Katie to be good in, in learning a language or even speak a little. So in this last video, I, I will not talk anymore some about um, the scenarios, but when Katie is uh, turns 18, the funding for her help is cut off and she returns to Louise's care. Soon it comes to the point where Louise do, uh, does not know how to handle Katie herself and Katie gets placed in another foster home. So, balik-balik, one day Katie, one day, Katie is physically abused for vomiting and responds by never eating or speaking because she was af afraid if she opened her mouth, she would vomit again and face more i'm sorry um face more abuse no sandra the language teacher i think that's a, a language teacher sandra does all that she can do to make sure that katie handled in a proper way and even has normal help her norman help her the Kate, katie uh that's sandra's um husband i think Katie is taken back to Children's Hospital and Sandra is suggested by social services to have Katie live with her. Before any decisions are made about this, Louis uh, takes Katie out of the hospitals, uh, her hospital and puts her into another foster home. So I think this is also a hindrance to Katie kay bisag asa na lang siya mapunta like, like environment. I think this is also a good technique maybe because letting katie to be uh, engaged with uh, someone uh sandra is not allowed to say goodbye to katie Louis even threatens to take like legal legal action on sandra if ever she ever sees katie again no okay um Murag naguol na si ang katong doctor kay murag igistadihan ra siya for for um what they call this for a blog no para mo mo known si Sandra so that is what uh Luis uh think kay murag gi kuan mo gusto atong doctor murag gi um gi manipulate siya so uh, Luis tells the entire story with uh with love his mother very much and when she died due to an accident he projected his feelings for her onto katie after a doctor examined katie sometime later she was diagnosed as being related and we locked her up afraid that the doctors might take her away so usa sa reason nga no da ito siyang gilak sa iyang papa which is si wis is dili siya ganahang kwaon si katie sa mga doktor para studyohan or 
um you know hilabdan because Luis was starting to go to blind with uh took care of Katie so um <clears throat> si Wis na ang nag-take care of Katie. Sandra then leaves the house running into a Judy again. It is now clear that she knew Louis for a long time. Sandra and Judy have a quick argument, which is Sandra, the language teacher, and the Dr. Judy from atong ilang gilugan si, San, uh, si, si Katie. And I really don't know what's the reason why Judy wants Sandra. So... Maybe there's a point of this. At this point, different kids of footage of Katie's appear on screen. Sandra looks at a tape recording on Katie. Kay gina record nila every uh, every steps or every move ni, ni Katie. She's hoping to Katie uh, see Katie once more. The camera turns uh, to her boyfriend now holding a baby their own. So at the end of the story is. Uh, na ano siya ikaw galing ng um, matawag na ni mong pamilya because na ano sila ay um, anak and then uh, the screen fades while she sings the hush little baby a lullaby which is mockingbirds don't sing the screen fades and footage of Katie on the beach can be seen uh, message appear uh, saying what has happened to everyone after the movie uh, movie. Judy continues to harass the Katie's team until the death in 1988. Louis, who is now again blind, besides uh, resides in a nursing home in Southern California. So that's the uh, story now. I, I don't know if Louis is still um, existing today. So my opinion about this video, it, it is more on as language acquisition which is a very um uh very hard for us to teach a child if he or she doesn't know how to um speak in her or his own dialect the reason behind ganot shangi uh gi presence a young father it's because siya dai reason nganong namatay tong mad I, mother ni Wiz, which is katong papa ni Katie, uh, muto siya yung reason, nga na siyang gi, munang nag-uol ang iyahang, um, nag-uol ang iyahang amahan niya. It's because of that. So, they, kuan regyod, ang pinakalami regyod sa director nga gibuhat is, the story itself really uh, makes yourself um, excite for what will happen next. So that's the very good thing nga gigama ni sa director. And then, kay katong gibilin di ay ni, ang muna yung siyang ginasiging ginabunalan, it's because giblame niya ang si Katie sa pagkamatay sa iyahang mother, kay nipalit man siya ice cream niya. Pag, pagpalit sa ice, para ni Katie, ang lola niya, nipalit og ice cream, parang Katie. And then, he, she uh, she doesn't notice nga naada ay car nga gapadulong so muto siyang nabanggaan siya and then that father uh, blamed Katie for what happened so muna siya uh, reason nga no to siyang dili na lamang ka istorya si Katie kay they uh, he impressed Katie for how many years so it is hard for us no to be present even a single day or an hour in our house nga maboring man ganita how much more a kid no nga all he all she can see is just the window uh, the the music outside the people she she just saw is just a three person so it is very hard for uh Katie to adopt what is in her environment which is not good for uh, every one of us. So this is a, also a good les lesson for us, especially uh, us for a uh, future educator to please limit our expectations and um, habaan ang ating pasensya, ika nga. So for us to build a better nation because we, we teachers are the molder of our uh, generation for today. So it, it always depends on us walay mais uh, walay doctor walay walay engineer walay nurses ug walay teachers so 
these language acquisitions really helps us to promote or to provide a better future. And that's it. This is Miss Cynthia Char. This is J.R. Kisai or Vicente Milon Kisai Jr., your second uh, BS in English at North Shatton. Goodbye!